This is an example of how to use Kirchhoff's second law to find the potential difference between two points and how it might be used to help solve a, a word problem. So in this case, I want to find the current through the 3 ohm resistor. And if I look at it, I really don't have enough information given right from the diagram. I know the current up through the 6 ohm resistor, but I don't know what I need to know to find the current through the 3 ohm resistor. So I don't know the potential difference there across that 3 ohm. If I knew the potential difference or the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor, then I could just use Ohm's law of V equals IR and find out what the current's going to be. So you've got to remember that when finding potential difference, it doesn't matter which path you take. It'll be the same potential difference. So if I can go from the end to the 3 ohm resistor, around the 3 ohm resistor, it'll be the same thing as going through the 3 ohm resistor. So what I need is just an alternative route to do that. So what I've done now is I've labeled the corners of my circuit. I've got the A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And basically, I want to find the potential difference from C to D. But I want to do it without going through the 3 ohm resistor. And then I know that it will be the same as going through the 3 ohm resistor. So I'm going to take the path from C to F, E to D, using Kirchhoff's second law. So the change in voltage from C to D is going to be equal to, well, I'm going to go down. So that's going to be plus 0.64 amps times 6 ohms, backwards across the battery, which is minus 6 volts. And then as I go up to, e, up to point D, there's no resistance, there's no battery there, so there's no change between D and E. So when I do the calculation, I get a potential difference of negative 2.16 volts. That means the potential difference across the 3 ohm resistor is also negative 2.16 volts. Now I can use Ohm's law to find the current. So V equals IR, negative 2.16 volts equals I times 3 ohms. And now I can find the current to be negative 0.72 amps as I go across the 3 ohm resistor which is the same result we've been getting in this example problem that we've been doing over and over and over.